I'm just going to get a photo of this valve box. So we're headed to the, a job that one of our clients is doing on the avenue in Medindi, which is Medindi's arguably, and I'm sure the people that own houses in Springfield and Netherby would be the ones arguing about it, if, you, if they really gave a shit. Arguably the most prestigious suburb in South Australia. Definitely got some, like, there's some million dollar, like, I'm talking six, seven, oh, maybe not seven. There'd be some five and six million dollar houses around here. So we're going to this site here. So we'll park out the way. So they've got a film crew set up. So today is planting day. I think they're doing lawn and plants. Um, this is a job that's being installed by um, Rob from Distinctive Gardens. He has been a long time, very good client of mine. And he has been given permission from the owners of this house. Oh, I hope that was the curb and not the car behind me. Um, I need a reversing camera, I think. So yeah, he's been given permission by the owners of this house to film today. Hello. Yeah, how are you? I'm wonderful, mate. How are you? Good. Good. When Lomond was supplying them. Yep. Oh. Alright, man. Fellas. Good to see you. Good. Really well. Wow. Yeah. Irrigation day. Nah. You know what? I was just thinking about that while I was driving. I don't get out to site anywhere near as much as I need to. And I've been wanting to do something with Rob for ages. Um, well, wait till you see the back. How are you, Nathan? Good to see you. How are you, man? Good to see you. So they'll hedge out? Yeah. They've got brass. Stand pipes, what are they getting them from? We need to stock those brass rises. How cool is that? Like it's like a, a gradual entry. So is this how my house is gonna look? <laughs> yeah, how you going? Yeah, we have met. Good to yeah. see you. This pool's cool, man. Like it, it's actually, it's quite inviting. Like from that end, it's like, you feel like you're meant to just like start walking in. Yeah, it's good when there's hidden stairs like that. Yeah, so you guys do all your own garden edging. Yep. How thick is that? Like six mil or something? No messing around. Not going anyway, step on it. She's good to go. Yeah. She's not going to wobble. But Rob said he used to use like four mil on it and it would just still flex a little bit too much. He said when curves were being done, it was fine. Yeah. But in a straight line. So do you, how do you curve this? Roll it or just heat it up and yeah, or you just don't curve a lot? Nah, you do still curve it. Like it's better to get it rolled, but if you're not doing it like out the front, we didn't end up rolling yep. the shape out there. So yep. you could just get it in position, just keep just flexing, hold it. keep yeah. going, tighten it, just keep racing at different points. But if you do want a straight line with it, then it's magic. That's insane. You did that concrete? Or you no, guys? that was Hungry Wolf yep. that we worked with. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, like Huey and stuff was hands on it. Yep. Yeah. So it's yeah, just like a nice. bench seat? Yeah, big bench seat, internal tree for a bit of shade. And it wraps all the way up through to the um, concrete bench. Then you've got that internal seating space. If you want to and that's all Nathan's design. You want to show me around? Yeah. Did you design the pool, Nate? Yeah. I was just saying to DK, it's, it, I, I felt like walking in it. So your lights going in here as well? Yeah, every second every, tree. Okay, and what, do you put them on the tree or in between the trees? No, they'll go on the tree yep. and they go, so here, we've already got the loops run. Yep. You see the loops there? And that's just five or six mil cable? Yep. And each of these has got a, what, a two litre an hour drip on them? Each ficus has got a two litre yep. and then each, but then we inline the whole lot. And they run on the same valve? No. So you can then choose to put water on these yeah. on their own, yeah, so on got, their own valve. Yeah. So all the trees on the whole property yep. have got their own valve, and then all the gardens is, is is water. So we can water the gardens, and then we can put the, the other ones on. How many ficus is there in here? Is that, what that that's what they are? And then we've run all the light coils back to a box in the wall, which I'm showing you. Now. Will these merge together, or they'll always remain their own? Yeah. So they want to pleach it up, and then we'll grow through and get a canopy. Pleach it up. So. Trimming them up, it's called pleaching. Yep. And then the canopy will grow out and almost form a hedge. And so there won't be a hedge underneath? No, that, so that'll they, always they, be left? They, yeah, like a, that foot 500 or whatever? The jasmine will grow as a, as a low sort of hedge. And so are these, that's that star jasmine? Yeah. What, oh, and you, you would hedge that? 
you would just as in you could you, you could creep it, it. Yeah. so that'll just become a ground cover thing ground cover yeah because at, at my last house we had it up rio and it was like a yeah, same thing different, paul, paul jackson special form. It's, I think you put them everywhere. It was just ch- star I jasmine. Them at home too, yeah. but this is a because uh, it grows quick. So it's a different form as well. Yeah. We originally did have them in here. This has got cool. Oh, hang on. So what? You've ripped them out? Yeah, but this has got crisscross wires. Nathan's designed a three D crisscross wire frame in here. Yeah. So you see what holes are in here. So then, what they have to thread it through? Through, yeah. So who does that? These guys. Yeah. You, yep. Oh no, these guys are drilling it. Yeah. And then we'll do it. Yeah. And just get it. Yeah. And then um. That gets painted and have a good big creeper all over. And well, what, that'll be whatever plant he chooses. Yeah, a few people here today. A few. Yeah. It's a clean. Is this door. your house? Yes. <laughs> and you're you're happy to have this many people running around with cameras? Oh yeah, I love a busy house. Right? Yeah. It means progress for me. I'm happy. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it has been happening today. The Oasi pumps we should be put in. Yep. And we'll so have these. Two more in the ponds. And, and you only pump. ever choose to use Oasi pumps in your water features? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 No, so that one there's the filtral. Little filtral. Yeah. Yep. And then there should be little bubblers coming yep. through. Uh, yep. Back in here, and we've got our top ups out here. So okay. That's our automatic top up overflow. Yep. And then. So you just have to cut a level on that yep. once this is done. Yep. Oh, that's cool. So that is that the leveling pipe down there. Yeah. And that's come under here. No, the leveling pipes back on this side. Oh yeah, cool. So then basically. Do you have to fiber like ferropre yeah, that or fiberglass it? So you get this to this stage, and then someone comes in and fiberglasses it. Yeah. In situ, we've got to do the ponds at the front. They get fiberglass as well. How many water features are on the site? Two. Okay. Sample. Oh, see, and this is cool as well. So they've chosen to build their manifold out of PVC rather than um, uh, like the tablet manifold fitting. So I'm guessing you don't trust them, or you don't like them, or you just prefer this. Just long term. Yeah. Better. I always used to build it as well, and if you have a problem, you cut it out and build another one. But. Yeah. Long term, we find it there a better yep. solution. Yep. What's the tank for? Just that it was a climate council, so all the stormwater goes in here. Five thousand litre tank sitting under here. So it didn't need to be that big, did it? No, but they just did it. Then that will run into the Love house. Okay, so and you've got high pops in these gardens set high as well. Yeah. So they're well, then you can get they sitting behind the hedge. Yeah. I've got them at my house. Yep. I love them. Yep. So then they sit up and pop up four hundred high, so yep. then you can get a massive lot of foliage. Yep. Pretty crazy, eh? Hey, Sight dog. This dog's gonna be pissed when everyone leaves. Be like, where the fuck is everyone? <laughs> I had all these guys throwing throwing me stuff around. So, what? How long do you think you've got till you finish? Hand over three weeks, or two and a half weeks. So you'll hedge all this out. Yeah. Well, they'll hedge all that out. Yeah, we'll wait. And what's your idea? That'll you want that to be the width? Still out. Yeah, and just whatever low. height. Really low, so then you open it out. Yep. So it doesn't steal any fire. What are these? Uh, autumn blaze. Yep. Blaze, yep. so they were here in Adelaide, so, plants so far. Okay, so the fact that these have come from Adelaide yeah. helps them with their establishment as well? Like it's not, no, it's it's not a different nice climate? It's just, all well, the Byron Bay ones, yep. they're beautiful, but they did burn yesterday. Yeah. Well, it was also 36 degrees in April yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. So, um, so this, this, these drippers that you're running off of on here, are they part of a, like a tree line? Same tree line. Yep, so that, yeah, cool. So you can just stop that or start that as needed? Yeah. So we put them on for five hours if we want to, and we just water the trees. Yep. And then these trees up here, in the paving up here, yep. they'll be on that. Then there's two more going in here, and then you saw the tree in the paving at the back there. Yep. there. So we've basically designated all trees, all major trees will be on drippers, so we can just, just gives it a better watering system. That's coming down. Wow. That's a serious tree. Yeah. Was it a hard decision, or they just went nah, get rid of it? the branches. Yep. So. Is this from the original job? Yeah, so that was the original nosy on the veranda at the front. Yeah. And so now we're putting it back underneath all the garage so you, doors. So it'll get that, used. Yeah, yeah, we're putting it back into the project. Yeah. So, you know, that's, shit, that's old. Yeah. But it'll be pretty cool. Million, million, millions of years old. Yeah. Oh, so this is like a service area? Yeah. Which is landscaped better than my house. It's like some high-end pavers. So we end up, I suppose, agging it all because... What size is this? Oh, you got two there. There's two. Yep. Yeah. So 13 does all the front, and then we've got another white. So this wire. is finished, this? Yeah, it just needs a bit plain and an acid yep. wash, but. And what, that'll take it back to like slightly exposed? Yeah, the acid. We just, we just fluff it. So it doesn't matter how established the concrete is, you acid wash it, you'll get it back. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we exposed it all, and yep. we just give it a light expose, so yep. then it sort of matches with that. But yeah, you can't but you're lay, not spending, you can't lay yeah. papers in here. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then, yeah, so basically we ran all that through the wall. And then all our lights sit in here, so we'll put another box like on When the you take there. your your pool pumps pretty seriously. Yeah, well they're all. Well, I haven't done it, but they're <laughs> all. Um, 
variable speed yeah. so that then you can adjust the well, yeah, but you, you saw the pull. Yeah. You can adjust how the, the flow rates go yeah. with, it, with the water over the edge. So, so basically light, we'll put a box in here. Yep. All trannies will sit in the box, that's yep. nice and neat. So you've got then, lights on this side and over that, like trannies on that side as well. Yeah, yep. it's, there's two banks and then yep. they're all internally switched. Yep. So that oh, that's nice. So there's only 60 odd up lights. No sensors or anything, just they just turn them on when they want to no, turn them on. When they do the house in time, they will all be on yep. the C bus so they'll be able to do whatever they want. I'll do the inside of the house. And then the hydro just goes in here. Beautiful. So it'll just be nice and neat. And that's just a light. Yeah. And lights, oh, there'll be all lights in here. Yeah. I like this tree. Yeah, they're cool. So that's it, really. That's, that's insane, man. Mm -hmm. I remember having one pool pump. Yeah. And like it being a pain in the ass. So that trough over flows into here. So then, so all that water spills over. There's a massive trough with 80 mm feeder box that runs into here. Yeah. And then basically you can draw the water back through here. So and that's the kind of detail that the design yeah. needs to be thought about early. Yeah, well, in August, if you have a look here. This pool's been made so that there's every single tile. Oh, it's to the length of a tile. So, so there's yeah, no cuts. If you have a look at this detail here, that goes flush to the wall there. Yeah. So there's not one single cut to the wall. So full paver there. But it also matches the tile, these tiles. Yeah. So they're 20 mil tiles or whatever on the pool tiles. Yeah. And then, so we've got the glass fence, so obviously you can see here. How I was just saying that to Brad, like, we've, we've to have a glass fence inside pavings. Yeah. Like, and then the boys have then. To do that detail is pretty cool. To do that and then, so but then we've calculated all that and then if you have a look here, then it all comes to here. So then this full tile from here, yep. all the way across here. Yep. So it's all been done to so that. So it's been designed around the pavers. Yeah, so, and then have a look at that cut the yeah. boys have done there. It's a pretty cool cut. Like, yeah. Oh, that's handy having a fence there. Yeah. So There's three access points to the pool. And then we individually cut these tiles. So originally it was specced for a, one of these cobbles here is was 420. Yeah, but it was a case that it would look wouldn't you wouldn't. It wouldn't so have we ended right. up buying 900 by 600s and we custom cut them all down yep. or everything else down. Yep. Because I didn't want to have it all that was all cobbled. I wanted to have it that we had four ones. Yeah. So then we had to so you can have brick joints. Individually miter them, individually everything. There's about 3,000 cuts. Jesus. It looks good though. It looks killer. It's a pretty cool project. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything else you need to see or that we, we can see. We need but... pegs here. Yeah. Um, and, and a bit of 25 mil high density poly. And Corey also needs a couple new um, poly cutters. And AS chup poly. chups. I have an order for you for Distinctive Gardens. Can you please write it down? Um, is that it? Two boxes of pegs, two cutters and the PVC? Oh, and like probably 20 chubba chubs. Give them 10 shit ones and 10 good ones. They've got a few mongers here that Rob will happily give the shit ones to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've got to eat and get back for this podcast. So yeah, this is Distinctive Gardens planting day at Medindi. Rob's been nice enough to show us around. Thanks for your time. Cool, man. Um, Pleasure. Your delivery will be here soon. We'll get out of your hair so that you can actually concentrate on what you're doing. Plus, I've got to eat my 9.30 meal. Have a good day, guys. Water Pro, this is Clint. Oh, it's going to be one of those days, DK.